Hello, Leander ISD. Wanted to take this opportunity as our students begin to plan for being back in person in our school district to give you a picture of what that's going to look like. We want to thank our board for the incredible work that they've done in approving the additional waiver with TEA for the four weeks. We now have the opportunity to bring our students back slowly and steadily. And our goal, of course, is to open and then stay open for as long as possible. With, of course, our number one priority being the safety of our staff and their families and the safety of our students and their families. We use these guiding principles. Ensure classroom and campus health and safety guidelines. Practice social distancing and student health and provide clear structures to support academic growth. So let's go now and have a look at how that's going to work. Starting September 8, we envision the elementary school campus experience will look similar to this. Remember, changes to the bell schedule mean start and end times are different from last year. Elementary school starts at 7.40 a.m. and ends at 2.55 p.m. Parents or guardians will self-screen students before they arrive and fill out the information through a Google form. My name is Terry Williams and I'm a bus driver and a trainer for the school district of Leander. This year is going to look a lot different uh, for all of our students and really for the bus drivers. First order business is uh, protecting our students, so it will be required that our students will have their face mask on. And then when they enter the bus, they'll be in a new seating arrangement. One child here and we're going to alternate rows all the way back where they're all at a safe distance. Once they are delivered to school, then we'll come back and we'll sanitize the entire area that our kids are seating in. Students and staff must bring and wear the newest and most essential school supply, facial coverings. The district is providing masks to those who need them. Covering their mouth and nose, everyone on campus is required to wear a facial covering made out of material that can block droplets. All students and staff must maintain and model a social distance of six feet apart. Hand washing and use of hand sanitizer will take place frequently throughout the day. In common spaces, students will see social distancing markers, a one-way flow of traffic down designated hallways, and no use of water fountains. Please bring your own water bottle. In the classroom, desks will be spaced out as much as possible. Tables will only accommodate half its capacity. Desks will face the same direction. Removing unnecessary furniture will help maximize social distancing space. In the cafeteria, food service workers will serve trays for breakfast and lunch, eliminating self-service. Students will wash and sanitize hands before entering the cafeteria and after meals. Tables will be spaced out as much as possible and students will only occupy half of the table. During physical activities, only one grade at a time will be allowed on the playgrounds. Each class will maintain a 10-foot distance from other classes. Students will wash their hands before and after recess. At PE, indoors, students will maintain six feet of social distancing with masks. During outdoor PE exercises and physical activities, students may remove their masks. The use of shared equipment will be limited and cleaned after each group. Students will wash and sanitize their hands before and after. If a student or teacher tests positive for COVID-19, any individual who came in close contact with that person for longer than 15 minutes must self-quarantine for 14 days. Campus will notify parents. CDC cleaning protocols will kick in, which include sanitizing the area, surfaces, and the equipment used by the person, increasing circulation around the classroom and office space, and vacuuming. Leander ISD will communicate information as well reporting positive cases on our website, and we'll continue to monitor the virus with public health departments. With regard to daily cleaning, Leander ISD will provide soap, disinfectant, hand sanitizer, paper towels, and tissues. Employees are asked to disinfect their own personal workspaces with district-provided materials throughout the day. Schools will dismiss students at stagger times and separate at exits to prevent crowding. Staff will wear masks and gloves when helping students into transportation. We realize preparing for in-person learning means more than just the physical experience. That's why we want to provide ways to help you mentally prepare. Create a family plan and routine for what mornings will look like. Communicate with your child about how school will look and feel different. Be a good listener. And don't be afraid to ask for help from a teacher or counselor. 
from September 8th until October 5th. We will phase in our students whose parents opted for in-person learning. Again, we want to thank the team that's put in so much time and effort into making sure that our environment is safe for your student. We also want to acknowledge that our teachers are really going out of their way to make sure that you have the opportunity for choice. So if you're ready to come back to in-person learning, we have a safe environment ready for you. But if you're not, then it's perfectly fine for you to keep your student 100% virtual for as long as you're comfortable. Thank you for trusting us with your most precious resource. We together can accomplish great things in hashtag OneAllySD.